from the Bosminster Beach Cafe. Today I'm going to be showing you through the coffee we're serving. Um, I'll make you up a double espresso, a flat white and a cappuccino. We use small batch coffee here at the cafe uh, for a number of reasons. We have good contact with the owner of the company and the people who actually roast the coffee. So we can literally say to them how we'd like the coffee to be roasted. So we use the St Ives Roasted Espresso blend. Um, it's made up of uh, Costa Rican, Brazilian and Indian beans. If we always check the roasting deck, we will always serve the coffee between seven and 10 days after roasting. It's important we get the seven days out of the way for the degassing process, otherwise you'll get bubbly coffee and it can be overly acidic. So I'm now going to make you a double espresso. Uh, we use this using the double handle on about a 50 ml or there or thereabouts extraction in about 25 seconds, ideally. Uh, grind your coffee up. And we grind all our coffee fresh to water here at the cafe. Clear temperature level. And I'll serve this with a saucer. So what we're looking for in a double espresso is you want a nice cherry brown colour. Um, you can see the nice flecking around the edge of the espresso here. Okay, so now I'm going to make you a flat white. Um, a flat white is always served with a double shot. Uh, we serve it in a five and a half ounce cup with steamed milk on top. Um, it should be quite a strong cup of coffee, but the sweetness of the milk should balance it out as well. The milk should be silky and sweet, and I'm going to allow a little bit more air in there than I would for a flat white or a latte. So now I'm going to add a little bit of chocolate as an optional garnish for the cappuccino. And today we're serving porcini chocolate truffles with our cappuccinos. Okay, to start the drink, I always have my sweet and sour ingredients first. That way if you do get the uh, consistency wrong, you can always get rid of that and you don't have to throw any gin away, which would be sacrilege. So we'll start with 25 ml of lemon juice. ml of mulled wine syrup. Then we have 50 ml of the of gin. So, always use fresh ice when you're making cocktails, otherwise it'll dilute too quickly. This is a dash of parentheses. Slice of lemon, and we've got some cranberries here. Any kind of winter fruit will be okay. Didn't have any blackberries today, so we're going to use cranberries. And that's your spice gin sour. 